Chicos, esta es la señora Álvarez y voy a explicar lo que tienen que hacer para el ELP de la semana 5, la comida, part 3, parte 3. Ok, so esta semana, this week, um, we're going to have two, essentially two sets, two big sets of activities, ok? The first set of activities are essentially a recap of what we have done the past four weeks, okay? So they're, it, they're a little bit on the quiz side, but just because they are kind of like quizzes does not mean that they're graded. It's just for me to see, to benchmark how you guys are doing, okay? So the first activity that you have is leer or reading. Now, a very important thing about these next two activities, actividad uno y dos. You have to do this activity from your school Chromebook. Otherwise, it will not work at all, okay? So I'm going to show you an example how it looks if you do it from a different computer. So I'm going to open this. We are here in the reading activity. Now, if I click here on preview, which is from the teacher's point of view, I can see how you guys are going to see the quiz. Now, I am not in my school Chromebook. I am in my personal computer. So if I click here on preview, see, it says straight away, you can't access this quiz, okay? Only respondents using managed Chromebooks can open this quiz. So you need, you absolutely need to do these first two activities from your school Chromebook, okay? So... Once you get that over with, okay, here is the um, uh, reading. So ELP reading, even though it said assessment before, again, it's kind of assessment like, but not really, okay? You're gonna see a score at the end. You're gonna have it on lock mode, but that does not mean that I'm gonna count it as a quiz grade, okay? So I just wanna see how you guys are doing knowledge-wise. So the first thing that you're gonna do is write your first and last name, okay? So, blah, 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 clase, octavo grado, bell one, or octavo grado, bell two. And once you get, you have here a short story. Now, this short story is the same over and over again. So you don't have to scroll all the way up any time that you have to check the story, okay? The questions and answers are in English, okay? And they are multiple choice. So this is pretty straightforward, as easy as it gets, okay? So you have here a story about una perra que se llama Gemma. Gemma tiene dos años. Es una perra muy buena, etc., etc., okay? What is the main idea of the text? What happens if Gemma, Gemma is la perra? Uh, according to the reading, what are the three things that the author is doing when Gemma is doing other things, okay? And here, translate the highlighted sentence into English. There's only one highlighted sentence, which is, Cuando yo grito, pelota, ella busca su pelota. So it's over here in gray. Therefore, that is the only highlighted phrase that you're going to use. And then... What happens after the person that wrote this text says, eat? That's it, okay? It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. La segunda actividad is called escuchar, okay? Once again, you have to do it from your Chromebook. And here is the listening activity. Now, one thing about this activity, and I've seen it that it has happened a couple of times with other Google Forms, in order to make this YouTube clip work, you have to click on it several times. So I am going to, you know, eliminate the quiz mode for a second on this one. Okay, so I can do the preview. So let's gonna say uh, Octavo Grado Bell 1, first name, Natalia. Next. Okay, so here you have the audio. Now here's all scramble, I'm gonna fix that, but you can click on the audio there, and it's a YouTube clip, okay? So all you got to do is click on it, okay? If it doesn't work the first click, click on it the second time. 
Okay. And all you gotta do is listen to the audio. You can listen to it as many times as you want, and you're gonna answer the questions that you have here. You have uno, dos, tres, cuatro. You tienen cuatro preguntas en inglés. Okay. Multiple choice. Again, it's as easy as it as this uh, as this can get. Now, afterward, the second half of this ELP, uh, we're going to be focusing on Señor Wooly. Okay, we're going to do, uh, if you attended the meeting last week, you saw we already started with this in class. Um, however, if you were not present in the meeting, um, it's fine because we're going to be working on this video. This video is called PAN. Now, one thing about Señor Wooly before we start, okay, and I made it clear here. I change the passwords in Señor Wooly for everyone, okay? Everybody has now the same password. And the password is T-shirt, glove, in that exact order, okay? So, I'm going to enter here on Señor Wooly. Here we have our little Billy La Bufanda. Tenemos aquí a nuestra bufanda muy guapa. Y... Vamos a hacer clic en log in, sign up, okay? Log in, sign up. Now, you click there. Y tienen dos opciones, hay dos opciones, student y teacher. Van a darle clic a student. Entonces, van a seleccionar, okay, let's go even further back, okay? Find your school. Seleccionan Estados Unidos, van a Virginia, Salem, Middle, ahí está. Select your teacher, Profesora Álvarez. Select your class, uh, Spanish 1, first bell. Select your name, then you're going to select whatever it is your name. So I'm going to pretend that I am Jada, and I'm going to click as if I were her, Okay. So once you go to the login and you get all these characters, remember, T-shirt, glove. T-shirt, glove. So click on T-shirt, click on glove. Log in. And that's how you log in to Senor Wooly. Again, everybody has the same password. So I shouldn't be getting any questions about... Miss Alvarez, my password. I don't have it. That's everybody's password. Okay. Going back to the Google slide, the first activity is very similar to one that you did before. This one is called Viva la Música. Y vas a resaltar en amarillo las palabras que sabes. Okay. Por ejemplo, cuando fui al restaurante. Restaurant is a word that you know. You're just going to highlight it, okay? Uh, con mis amigos, if you know amigos, highlight amigos, okay? Highlight all the words that you already know. Then the second one, you have two activities. The first one, again, if you were present for the online session last week, uh, this one should be very piece of cake because we already did this during the meeting. Um, you're going to... Write the letter, the correct letter that corresponds with each of these names. So you have uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco imágenes y cinco palabras. So, por ejemplo, eh, letra E, so write E, el pan, okay? And so on. And then, vas a organizar las comidas si son buenas para la salud o malas para tu salud, ¿ok? Health is salud, ¿ok? So, por ejemplo, tenemos el helado, la fruta, el pollo, el brócoli, la grasa, ¿ok? So, buena para la salud, simple. El pollo es bueno para la salud. Lo pongo aquí, ¿ok? El... Las papas fritas no son buenas para la salud. Then you put them under 
la comida que es mala para la salud. ¿Ok? Then, van a mirar el video de pan con subtítulos en inglés. So, how are you going to watch this video? Go to Señor Wooly and you can either go to assignments where it says pan right here if you want to direct access to it or another way is to go to your stories. So, look for pan. Here it is. And just click on it, okay? Now, once you are there, click on video. And in video, you have different options, okay? Remember, you can scroll over here in order to see all the video options that you have, okay? So, in this case, you can watch in English Spanish subtitles. Click there, watch the video, okay? And then you're going to complete Nuggets 1 y 2 de pan, okay? So, vayan a Nuggets. This is Nugget 1. Once you're done, it unlocks Nugget 2 and complete them all, okay? Then, there's another activity with the video, okay? This, These following two activities you're going to do as you watch the video. So, one thing that you can do is duplicate this slide. Okay, and you can put your Senor Wooly here and your ELP here. So, as you answer the questions, in fact, I'm going to make this a little bit on the smaller side. Oh, there you go. So, you have the two screens right there. In the video page, just going to click on, let's say, English, Spanish subtitles. Click on the video. And then you're going to try and answer the questions over here. So, en la casa, at home, en el restaurante, at the restaurant. ¿Con quién está el chico en la casa? You're going to see who is he with. Let's see, there's some soup. Hay un chico, etc. Okay, so try to use this trick of having the two things at the same time. That way you can watch and type at the same time. And... This next activity, in the next slide, you have to move the events in order, okay? So, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So, all you got to do is put the events in order according to how it happens on the video. Once again, just have two separate windows. Try to put them side by side, and that way you can make it easier for you. Luego tenemos un verbo, traer. Okay, in Pan we hear the verb traer, which is to bring. Okay, so for example, yo traigo pan. I bring bread. Tú traes pan. You bring bread. El, ella, usted. El, ella, usted is third person. Okay, yo is first person. Tú is second person. And el, ella, y usted is third person. Okay, so you have a breakdown of the of the verb traer, to bring. Yo traigo, tú traes, él, ella, usted trae. Nosotros traemos, vosotros traéis, ellos y ellas traen. Okay? So what you're going to do is write, type here which one is we bring, which one is she brings, and so on. And you're going to complete nugget three of pan. Okay? So if you already completed nuggets one and two, then go to number three. Luego tenemos una lectura. We have a reading. Uh, boys and muchacho. You're going to highlight the new details, okay? You're going to highlight the new details. So here we have the original reading. You're going to grab this one and highlight the new details. Then you're going to draw a line from the emojis to the correct sentence. So these emojis are essentially talking about things that happen on the video, okay? So you're going to try to match the emojis with the sentence. How do you draw a line? It's pretty simple. All you got to do is click here on the line icon that you have up there. Click on line and just put, wait. There you go. And just draw a line depending on what your answer is going to be. Okay? Now, here the next uh, activity is going to be watch 
the pop-up video of Pan. How can you access that pop-up video? Go back to Senor Wooly, go to the video page, and over here where you scroll down, you have pop-up video. Okay, it's right here. So after the karaoke videos, so count, no subtitles, Spanish subs, English subs, English Spanish, find the gang of girls. Okay, after karaoke, click on pop-up video, okay? In pop-up video, you're essentially gonna have some behind the scenes about how they made the video. And as you watch that video, remember, all you can do, you can do the same thing that we did before, okay? Which is have the two windows open, like a pop-up video. And as you watch the pop-up video, you're gonna delete the incorrect answer. So you have two answers, you're just gonna delete the incorrect one. Then you're gonna move the lyrics of the song next to the character that says it, okay? So here we have la mesera or the waitress, and here we have bo, el chico, okay? So all you gotta do is bloop, move where, it, move to the side of the character and see who says what. Then we have uh, what a narration of what happens in the video, okay? So in this one, you have to write a little bit and you have to write a sentence doing uh, using the third person or el, ella, usted. So for, ex for instance, we have here, papá, mamá, hijo. We can say la mamá dice, because it's ella, dice al muchacho, come la sopa. Here we have another picture, another scene from the video type what do you think is happening okay one sentence and here you're gonna try and think about any scene that occurs between this scene and this scene and type what happens between those two it's the same activity here on the next slide over here all you gotta do is move the words in the correct spaces so again what watch the video and based on what you see on the video Drag and drop on the blanks. Over here we have, contesta la pregunta en una oración completa. You have one question. ¿Cuáles son dos comidas que te gusta pedir en un restaurante mexicano? Which two foods do you like to order in a rex Mexican restaurant? So, you're going to type a full sentence, okay? Me gusta pedir blood. Y blah en un restaurante mexicano. Okay. Vamos a quitar esto. The next one is called Chunky Monkey. It's essentially putting the lyrics in order. Okay. So here are the lyrics of the song Pan o Scramble. All you gotta do is put the chunks in order. And over here, similar activity to the one before. All you gotta do is write a sentence per picture two sentences per picture okay so for example here we have la mamá tenemos al hijo puse la mamá come because mamá es ella come pan con el hijo and the second sentence could be el hijo come pan y mira a el hermano okay sorry al hermano so, el hijo would also be él. Come, he eats, okay? Él come. Y mira, él mira, he looks, okay? Mira al hermano. He stares at his brother, okay? So, two sentences about each picture. You have several pictures there. And the last one it's kind of going back to the first activity that we did. All you got to do is highlight in blue the words that you learn. Okay, so you can just go back to that first activity where you had to highlight the words that you already knew. And by the end, highlight the words that you learn after you did all these Señor Wooly activities. Okay, so that's essentially what you have to do for this week. Um, Remember, we're going to have a meeting on Tuesday at 8.30 if you are on Bell 1 and at 12.30 if you are on Bell 2. Um, this is the 
not the last activity, but the one before the last activity that we're going to have during the school year. And next week, what we're going to be having is essentially a review of everything that we have done throughout the year. So that is essentially what you have to do. The deadline is next week, next Tuesday, 11.59 p.m. as usual. And that is all. Estén a salvo, lávense las manos y nos vemos.